Hi there and good morning everyone. It is currently the morning of the 3rd of September 2011 about 05 a.m. out here in Japan Standard Time. That's right around 2030 Universal Time for everybody else worldwide watching this system and hope everyone fared well last night as this tropical storm made landfall right around uh, 12 or midnight last night about 15 Universal Time. It made landfall right near Shikoku here. The center of circulation came on shore and still seeing a lot of these feeder bands coming on shore right now so the storm is by far not over just yet but as shown on this radar imagery here that I'm starting off with today we're starting to see a lot of these high bands right in here or a lot of these high cloud tops being indicated in red and even if we zoom in on this you can see these higher cloud tops are very cl and clearly indicated right in here and a lot of these bandings coming on shore you see these clouds moving pretty fast from south up to north here and this is where the max winds are being located at JMA currently reporting 55 gussing up to 70 knots is what the crap max intensity is of this storm right now and especially here over the water and especially near the coast of the inland sea throughout this region here is where you're going to see those highest wind gusts but main issue for today though is the precipitation and the rainfall and flooding especially in a lot of these low-lying areas uh, thank you very much for all the reports I got last night I got some reports of some flooding areas out here as well and a lot of reports of people just saying uh, the wind reports and precipitation coming through so please continue to update here as well and also uh, during the daylight hours today if you can get any video through as well make sure to add these to some of these updates as well so just uh, thank you very much for that but just want to get back to this though these higher cloud tops showing the center of circulation here just off Shikoku here and really a lot of these higher rain bands mainly on the right front quadrant is where the big hazard areas here the southern southwestern periphery really suppressed right now due to high pressure on that way but the right front and up to the north is really being enhanced by an upper level trough up here to the north right now so if we look at the precipitation mounts for the past 24 hours Showing here at 10 or 11 uh, yesterday, really, you just start to see these precipitation mounts start to kick right in. And looking over here at Shikoku, you see these ones upwards of 50, up to 40, even up to 60 there for a few hours. And overall, these precipitation amounts are adding up to about two to 300 millimeters of precipitation or rainfall, specifically on the eastern side. This just started over, by the way. This is yesterday morning now. But specifically on the eastern side of the mountains here up in Shikoku and heading out over towards Honshu is really where you see this. I'm going to let this loop around one more time and you can start to see these numbers really start to kick in over this region here. And that's all due to orographic lifting. Basically the rain bands coming on shore being lifted up on the side of the mountains and being squeezed like a sponge and all that rain starts to fall out and really just falls right in these particular areas. We actually saw this earlier this year with a typhoon that came through uh, earlier in the spring and really did the same exact deal here in Shikoku. And there was a lot of flooding and some mudslides that occurred on along the east coast and the event's still not over yet so we're continuing to watch this still no reports of any mudslides or landslides out of here and hopefully nothing comes out like that but definitely going to be flash flooding specifically along the eastern side of these mountains but here showing the official track from JMA uh, just showing winds currently 55 gusts came to 80 knots 975 HPA is the lowest pressure just off the coast here and over the next 24 hours they're expecting us to cross Japan and go out into the sea of Japan here just north of Honshu and basically 48 hours out really expecting this to be clear up towards Hokkaido in the long range and that's really kind of verified on the streamline analysis and model analysis first we're going to start out the streamline analysis here where it shows a fairly clear indication that the system is going to follow this troughing right in here along the west up here and shoot straight off to the north and basically clipping just the west coast of Hokkaido Sapporo definitely going to be seeing some precipitation out of this I know they're under uh, some uh, pre or actually flooding advisories and high wave uh, warnings out here along the west coast of Hokkaido as well as this cruises off towards the north but we are expecting this to basically break apart and become elongated as it becomes extra tropical here in the future as it drifts off along this due to this uh, suppression up here towards the west and a high amount of wind shear so in in the next 48 hours, you're going to see the system cruise off towards the north, and as you can see right here over Japan, it really starts to become elongated, as just indicated, and overall the gradient starts to loosen, so the winds should start to lessen up, but there's still going to be a lot of precipitation here over much of central Honshu, and it's going to work its way off towards the northeast as the system does as well. Hokkaido not going to be uh, free from this rain as well, and you're going to still see it over that direction as the system continues to cruise off over the Sea of Japan, but I'm also showing you the 
this is because we have this new invest invest 98w actually uh, jma has picked this up as a tropical depression now really doesn't have a forecast out on it just yet but they are expecting this to develop and shoot off towards the north as well if you look at the model consensus on this system and i'm sorry i'm going to shift gears here from a second from talos over to this system because i know a lot of people are worried about this in the future as well but the model consensus currently right now is actually fairly good with a very likelihood chance that this is going to remain offshore and basically cruise due north around this area of high pressure up here and hopefully that talos is going to kind of weaken and enhance this trough the move towards the northeast so this should just follow it straight north but as we know from talos you know, the forecast has changed drastically from starting over here and ending up over here so we're going to continue to watch this area right in here and if we go back out to satellite imagery we can you can see how this area is continuing to develop it has a lot more organization with it than it has in the past 24 hours but still a lot of factors inhibiting it along the northern periphery here including a lot of suppression associated with this high pressure so uh, JTWC actually the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has also put out a TCFI on the system so that TCFA JML putting out a TD so a lot of the agencies really coming together and noting that they're really going to be organized and come something here in the next 24 hours but as noted it should continue to track north and remain offshore of Japan but uh, that's in the future though as for right now we continue to watch uh, tropical storm Talos move across Japan today continue to look for reports out of there of any flooding uh, really still seeing banding coming in especially off the Kuroshio you have the warm current right through this region in here so can continue to see enhanced banding coming over that warm water and coming on shore and producing in a high amount of precipitation here and also I do want to note for all the uh, military people that are watching us, I know there's usually a good deal uh, for the bases out here, T-Core 3 in effect for uh, Yokosuka and the, basically the Kanto plane up here while Sasebo really in nothing and I know a lot of have viewers from uh, Kadena and they're in nothing as well. So I just want to note that quickly. Uh, but that is all for today everyone. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them here. Also if you have any observations, uh, those are always greatly needed and uh, I definitely will relay, relay them here on the video and also any videos that you can put out or record of this weather. Please do not put yourself in any dangerous situation, but also I will take those and try to relay them on these videos as well. But thanks again, everybody. Have a great day. Stay safe and check back this afternoon. I will have another video update or at least I will have a text update by this afternoon in the evening about a lot of the reports coming out of here and hopefully try to get some more information, especially with the daylight hours coming in. So have a great day. Stay safe.